What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got superstar Solo Joe and no superstar Rob. Nowhere to be seen. Where is he? I don't know. In the comments, hashtag blame Rob for being Solo Joe today. But that's not stopping us. We are continuing the streak every single day. We are posting videos. And because of that, you guys need to make sure to become a superstar. Hit that subscribe button down below. When you go up to the ice cream truck and you let him know that you're a superstar, he's going to go in the back of the truck. He's going to pull you out a nice ice cream cone with some star sprinkles on it. And he's going to give it to you free of charge. Trust me. I heard that it might have worked one time somewhere like five hours away and that in the middle of nowhere, I don't know, it was really, really weird why there was ice cream truck even there, but it happened. I trust me, I, I just heard it through some through a friend. Okay, so make sure you become a superstar so you can get some free sprinkle ice cream. Um, also hit us up on Twitter, superstar money underscore. We are posting there every single day. We're letting you know what we won on drops. If we if we want it, we're we're sharing other people's stuff, it's amazing. Speaking of sharing other people's stuff, we got TikTok and Instagram down there. If you guys submit me your videos or your uh, pictures, we will post them there, give you credit, and uh, we're loving it. I love the AR pictures. I love the videos, all that stuff. That's really, really fun, and one of the best parts of Vivi, the bigger we build that up, the easier it'll be to show it off to people and uh, hopefully bring in more people onto Vivi because the more people that come in, the more our collectibles are going to go up in price, right? Um, and also, if you want to follow us, I reposted them. I think he was down for the last couple of days, but... Fastos is up again for 9.9 .9 million, number 6909. Nobody bought him in April, but uh, maybe May is the year or the month. Superstar Money is the tag, and that is our logo. You cannot miss us. Very, very obvious. Now, I'm by myself, so you guys got to bear with me here, but I'm going to pull it back up here. I got the Twitters, and uh, basically today was the Strange Tales number 111 drop. How'd you do, Rob? Oh, I don't know. You didn't do it. Okay. I uh, I went for it. I go on four of them, and I had a big hit. I had a big hit. Um, where'd it go? I posted it up here. Um, strange number. Look what I got here. Number two, one, three. You kidding me? I think there's, there's only 13 better than this. So super, super low. It's a B-tier comic. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might sell it. It might be sold by the time that... Uh, you guys are watching this, but still, like I never got a comic that low number. So pretty, pretty cool to have in the collection. But uh, I'm not attached to this cover, to be honest with you. But I know it's not a decent, it's like a decent book. It's not, it's not crazy. So um, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing with it. We'll figure it out. It might be gone already. Um, also, they're reminding us about the Ju Jurassic Park double feature, about the NFT promo. And if you haven't done it or something. Uh, oh, here you go. And then here's some clarifications that some people were actually asking. Here's some quick answers to the questions that we're seeing on Twitter. Qualified guests will receive one unique code per ticket. So if you bought two tickets, you're getting two codes. What did I just do? Um, you do not. So if you buy four tickets in one transaction, you get four codes. So you're going to get four NFTs for four tickets. So each person is getting one. You do not need to be an AMC Stubbs member to qualify for the NFT. All guests who purchase tickets for the show times on June 9th through AMC Theater or the app will qualify. So you don't have to be a Stubbs member. There's a lot of um, speculation because people who weren't Stub members weren't getting the proper email. Um, and I think even people did returns and got charged service fees and then joined the club and then did that. So there was a lot of speculation. Maybe it should have been cleared up a little bit earlier. Um, but this clears it up for everybody. So I'm really happy that Vivi came out and said this, especially since they're still selling them. Um, so now, now you know you don't have to be a Stubbs member. And qualifying tickets that are later refunded will not receive an NFT. So you can't buy it and then sell it um, after the fact. You need to actually like keep it through that date, I think. And then the 16th or something is the day that they drop them. If you still have questions, contact AMC. So AMC is all in on this. Uh, Vivi just deferring to them now. Uh, okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, Eid Mubarak to uh, all Vivi fan who celebrate. So if you're celebrating, uh, what they said. And the big news of the day, the crazy news, everybody was waiting for some Star Wars news and a Darth Vader collectible and whatnot. And we got Star Wars, A New Hope, basically Marvel Comics Group Star Wars comic number one. This is what it's looking like. And some of the covers are pretty sweet. Like basically the common is the only like full color. It's actually the only one that looks like a cover. And then you got the uncommon, which is like black and white version without the words. 
And then you got a rare, or no, sorry, that's the rare. So the uncommon is this other one here. It's basically, I don't know, it's a little bit, it's a poster, it looks like. This looks like a poster. So you can get a poster with the uncommon. This is kind of like that, that X-Men drop. Then the rare is the black and white of the common with no words. And uh, ultra rare and seeker rare, both no words and just uh, black and white. Not sure if these are posters or, oh, here you go. Star Wars number one features three three variant comic covers and a special theatrical poster. So the uncommon is the poster and uh, the other are three variants. So you got rare, ultra rare and seeker rare that are basically just uh, different variants with no title, nothing on it. But uh, it even says it on the bottom there. Main cover, black and white variant, special edition, black and black cover. I can't read the ultra rare one, but I got a little bit of writing. I'm not sure if it's going to come with it. It might just be what they're titled. But uh, Lucasfilm Limited, uh, they got the Star Wars 1977 number one. How does this sell for in uh, real life? Nothing crazy, guys. 9.6 is only selling for 1100 Still better than a lot of, a lot of the comics that came out uh, recently, but... Um, this one here, not too crazy, but it is Star Wars and it is a collectible. And uh, depending on the number of mints, this could go crazy. Now, I was I went on Randy Chavez's stream and I asked him. I said, "Do you think it's going to be thirty thousand mints, or do you think it's going to be like a seventy thousand mints?" And why do I say seventy thousand? It's just because they can. Like, why wouldn't you sell more if you know you can? Like Star Wars, it's a different type of comic. It's not a Spider Man. It's not a Fantastic Four. It's not something that we've seen yet. Um, so I think that it would be kind of smart of VV to come out with like a larger run of these. Um, what do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think we're going to get a big run or do you think it's going to stay at 30,000 or do you think they're going to go super limited on this? That would be kind of like everybody's been waiting. Everybody's been selling things, trying to get into Star Wars. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that they are going to go with a larger run? Like I, I, I personally think it might be like a 70,000 mint run similar to how they had the Green Goblin drop. I think that's the only other one that's that high. But um, a lot of interest will be in this comic. And if you can sell 70,000 of them easily, uh, this might be the one that will do it just because of all the Star Wars hype. It's May the 4th. Everyone's thinking Star Wars on that day. Um, it may not be the most popular comic in real life, but I think the hype is there. I think that the Star Wars hype is there. I think there's going to be more Star Wars uh, coming in the month too. I don't think that this is it. I think they got to come out with some collectibles. People are expecting it at this point. Um but this could be it. And they're basically, their, their tweet said, on Star Wars Day, we're dropping. So even they said on Star Wars Day, we're dropping the original 1977 comic adaptation of Star Wars A New Hope. Star Wars number one features three com three variant comic covers and a special theatrical poster variant in blind box format. So regular time, 11 a.m., but doesn't say doesn't say extreme, doesn't say su su the super low or whatever they call it. It is, no, there's no like really nothing to point you out how many mints there's going to be. So it could be a 30,000 mint drop, but I would not be surprised. I'm telling you if this is 70,000 plus, uh, I really want to know what you guys think. Also, how did this affect the market? I was looking to buy a C3PO and he was sitting at 1100 gems. And now look at the floor, the floor of C3PO shot up and we're looking at, we're looking at 1399. So he shot up basically 300. No, he shot up like 250 gems. I think it was 1150 when I was looking. So 250 gems of the floor just because of this drop so that people are getting hyped for Star Wars. Um, and R2-D2, I wasn't watching the floor on that one just because I have one already and I'm not really selling it. But it looks like it went from basically like 2300 up to 2750 So this one went up like 400 bucks, which is not bad. I do not think that these will stay around there as if nothing else Star Wars comes out and if nothing else changes. I think that we're going to see them go retrace right back to where they were, um, depending on what happens here. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Do you guys think that uh, that these things are going to keep going up once Star Wars stuff comes up? Maybe if more Star Wars stuff comes out, then these will go up again because then people will come to the app. And also, it depends on if they do like some kind of marketing. I haven't checked if Star Wars or Marvel or whoever has tweeted, if Disney even tweeted it about the Star Wars drop. I doubt it. Uh, but if that does happen, then these will, I expect them to go up. Um, I didn't expect them to go up this much already, but I guess just any Star Wars drop, uh, confirming any Star Wars drop was hype for some people. And uh, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But as you can see, it's R2-D2 here, 14% uh, increase in one day. And we got uh, C-3PO, 13% increase in one day. So it's pretty crazy, um, actually 
how much just one little drop affected everything. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is, okay, this is a comic, right? So you're going to have people who are in the comic world, comic VV people who may want to get into this Star Wars drop because they think it's significant just because so much hype behind Star Wars that maybe they're going to be selling off some more important books. And kind of looks like that happened today. Um, I don't know if this gives me my percentages, but it's not the same thing like the other one. But anyway, it looks like today, even today, you had a little bit of a dip, nothing crazy, but these books are cheap right now, like 80 bucks for Fantastic Four, number one. Uh, we were at all time highs of 240. So you're like one third the price. Uh, we, we've made a little rebound on comics up to like 110, but now we're back in the 80 gems. Unbelievable. And there's other ones. There's other grails like Fantastic Four, five. Um, there's a bunch of, a bunch of comics that might take a hit because we're seeing a nice, a nice different type of comic. So people might be like, Hey, I, I want this comic. I'm going to sell their comic. It's just like being in that comic mindset that you might see some comics get sold, um, for another comic. So guys, I know it's not the longest video. All right. But uh, also, I'm not a huge, huge Star Wars guy. Like, Rob's a little bit more of a Star Wars guy. He's got the Grogu mug. You guys seen it before. Um, so he definitely has a lot to say about it. I'm sure that he is super hyped about this. Obviously, going to go for the drop. Uh, going to try and keep as many as I can. I think it will go above retail. Uh, even if there's 70,000 mints, I think it might go above retail. Um, and I, I think they could do it. So I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I want to know in the comments below. Do you think that this is going to be a larger run just because they can? Or do you think they're going to stick to 30000 If it is 30000 it's definitely going above retail. Uh, Star Wars. But I do think that those increases that we have seen in the R2-D2 and the C-3PO, if nothing else Star Wars comes out, I do think that they're re retracing right back down to 1100 for C-3PO and whatever R2-D2 was, 2300 I think that will happen. Uh, I want to know what you guys think, though, uh, in the comments down below. Uh, so if you have not already... Please become a superstar. Hit that subscribe button down below and uh, hit the bell notification. You'll know whenever we post. Maybe Rob will be back tomorrow. Maybe he won't be, but you won't know unless you're subscribed, unless you have the bell notification on and you see whenever we post. Um, we got some big time collabs coming up. Trust me about that one. Uh, we're in the works. We're just trying to get everybody on the same schedule. Uh, you guys saw that we did that collab with NFT Pirates Chad. That guy's awesome. Great time. Make sure you're subscribed to him. Uh, but there's a bunch of other creators that we want to work with. We're super, super excited. If you're watching this, you guys, uh, we've been in the DMs. We've been talking to you guys and uh, very, very excited to get something going for sure. Um, so yeah, let me know on any, any comments you got down below. I've been answering comments the last couple of days. I've been in charge of comments on YouTube. So if you got some funny remarks, that's been me. And uh, that's it. I want to see you guys tomorrow and love you. Bye.